everybody. Good afternoon. It is after 12 noon. I've been up for a while. Uh, I just got through doing a video on the other channel about Jesse Smollett. And uh, like I say, it's about 12. I'm about to put on my clothes and get dressed. I think I'm going to work on putting my locks on today. It's supposed to rain today, 50% chance of rain. So I'm gonna see if I could get my lock on my pass, my driver's side door today so I could start unlocking my door. I have three or four different keys to my vehicle because all the locks are different. And two of the doors I don't even have keys for. I got three keys, one for the ignition, one for the doors, the side doors, and none for the passenger, the driver and the passenger doors. But I got a third key to go to something. I don't know, child. But at least I'll be able to put a key on the front doors where I can open them up because right now I can't open them up. I have to open up my side door to get to the front doors. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. How are y'all doing today? Happy Friday to you. Hi everybody. I am at a local park and I'm working on my door. I'm going to take the door panel off so I can attempt to change this lock on here. And it is like, let me see what time it is. So I can see how long it's gonna take. It's 2.21. So I'm gonna see how long this takes for me to do this. I don't think it's gonna take that long. I think I need to pop this thing off, yeah. I needed to pop that thing off and I got a couple of screws that I need to unscrew. I'm looking at that wrong. Let me show so you. I got a couple of screws that I need to unscrew uh, at the bottom as well. And then I'll be able to lift that up and pull it out. So I'm going to just let y'all see what I'm doing. y'all gonna ask me how to do what I did so I'm gonna have to show y'all with the other door I call my mechanic friend okay so what you want to do is you want to take that other lock off put this lock back on from the outside stick that back through the hole and there's a metal piece all vans have a different kind of mechanism, but this is metal piece right here. And then you're gonna put that back around that lock to hold it in. I don't know if y'all could see that, but I'm gonna try to show it to you as much as I can. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and I'm not gonna be able to show you while I do it, but what you're gonna do is take that middle pe metal piece, put it back around that lock and secure it. So that's what I'm about to do now. That plop pops in place really easy. 
and it secures that in place. And now let me see if my door unlocks with the key. So now I have to do the other side. And when I took this loose just now, I think I undid these wires. And let me see if I can touch these wires when I get shocked. Let me call my mechanic. Okay, he said if I twist these wires, I'm not gonna... He said if I twist these wires, I'm not gonna get shocked. I told him if I die today, I'm gonna put y'all on the ground, y'all. This ain't working. Where can I put you? I told him if I die today, it's his fault. So he said, I could twist these together. I think those two go together. He said I could twist those together. Is shot. So I think that's how he had them. So I'm gonna go get my scissors. Let me go get my scissors. I hope y'all can see this. Yay, I did it. So I got one more to go. So this is the old lock that we took off. And this is the new one that we put onto that other one. Uh, the one that is for the driver's side, I think is white. And this one is black for the passenger side. It had a little red rubber gasket that go on the back of it but you could remove that because you got that other thing that goes on there. So what I'm gonna do is since I didn't show you guys how to remove the door panel, for you men out there that wanna know how to remove a door panel, and for you women out there that wanna know how to remove a door panel, instead of paying somebody 200 and 300 dollars to do this, it's easy, it's simple, and you could do it yourself. So I'm gonna show you how and I'm going to lock you in the inside and then I'm going to unlock you. I'm a professional. I need to take some odd jobs on the side. <laughs> I need to take some odd jobs on the side so I can make me some money, honey. Anybody want me to change your door lock out? Anybody want me to change your windows to the back of your van? If you broke your windows, I've changed the windows to the back of my van. I've never changed the side door windows, but I'm pretty sure I could do it. But now we're going to do this other door over here. So y'all want to break down of what my day consists of? This is it. This is van 
life journey. This is the mechanic on the road, on the go. So I am going to show you how to take off a door panel and to change out your door locks. So this is my front passenger side door. And the first thing you want to do is remove this little thing right here. Usually you can just pop it out. Uh, comes off easy like that just pop it out you have a screw right here that you want to remove and you have a screw down here that you want to remove and you're gonna want to remove this thing oh it's dirty and you're gonna take something up under there and pop that out and this right here pops out as well so i'm gonna set you guys back so you can see me go to work if you ever go to a junkyard and you see another door that's in better condition you could just buy it and switch them out really 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 easy okay so you guys this one is harder to come off than the other one was Normally, once you get the screws off and you get this off, and I'm making sure uh, once you get the screws off, you're just supposed to lift up and it'll come off, but it's not doing that on this one so. But I think this one has an extra screw right here that the other door didn't have. Okay, it has, this one has two extra screws. The other door didn't have that or maybe the other door was supposed to have that. didn't. So there are two extra screws that you pull off. I'm anything I need to be. That came off easy, so make sure you take those screws off first, because I think <laughs> I might have broke, I broke two of my things. Actually, I broke more than two. I'm trying to pull that off again. Like that. So. Uh-oh. So we have to take this off. I took this thing off a few minutes ago on the other side. In order to get to that thing, I'm going to see if I can get this one. Without, yep, without taking it off. This little thing 
was on the back of that lock. I just pulled it. It came. The off. lock is hanging now. So what I'm gonna do is unattach that lock from this thing some kind of way some kind of how however you do it just pull it off and throw that on the ground don't leave it there don't litter but you stay there right now stay don't move okay kick that out the way before you trip on it <laughs> and break your deck and you take the new lock like so that's the new lock that you got from AutoZone. And you could either just stick that back in that hole like that and bring it up. I should have had gloves on, but I don't never be putting no gloves on. But anyway, let me do this. This one is harder to put on because it's a little thing in the way right here. And I moved it out the way with the uh, on the other side, but I didn't move it out the way on this side. I'm trying to work around it. Take a little more work. In the other one and I have no idea what this other thing is right here and what it's supposed to do this other thing is and what it's supposed to do. So all I'm gonna do is just screw it back into place. I'm asking no questions. I hope it don't be rattling while I'm driving, but I have a very strong feeling it's gonna be rattling. I tried to figure out before I pull, pulled it out what it attached to. It's hard. This thing is all. It's hard. So this one took longer. Door. 
like this one did. Let me kind of put the bottom in first. then start putting all your screws back on. I should have four screws on the ground. <laughs> Is it a lake or something back there? Yeah, we Cypress Creek and Spring Creek. What you do, just walk all the way back there? Okay. Either way you go, you you go on the other end, you walk back and walk. Left without, but you oh, you went this way? No, I went this way right here. Okay. And, and you do what when you go that way? Just keep, keep on going, go far, go far. You're going to run right to the river. Okay. Mm -hmm. I it. need to go check that out. Sure, you check it out. Get a you have to it. have a license to fish? Yeah. How much of the license is? $20. If you're, if you're a senior is that anywhere in the state of Texas? Yes, ma'am. You speak, look. So I don't, if I go to another city, I don't have to uh, get another license? Is it per city or? So here in Houston, Houston, uh, Texas only, Texas. Anywhere in Texas, you can fish anywhere. Oh, anywhere, in that's Texas. what I want to know, anywhere yes, in Texas. Anywhere in Texas, but if you cross Louisiana, or, or, or you gotta get a Louisiana, take, take a one day pass and I guess, you know. Okay. Yeah. There's a lady back there fishing by herself right now. Yeah, I might go back there and check it out. She, she caught some fish, you catch them? I don't know how to fish with a rod though. I only know how to fish with a pole. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I catch with the pole. I know you catch. So how long you uh how often you come out here? Uh usually around the spring the spring area, run the time of year, that's when I come out. Okay. I don't go in the wintertime. Usually around uh, well sometimes yeah, sometimes I need to use the beginning of nowhere in December, January, February, December, then March. Good time to come. If it's not real cold. Okay. I have a car in my journey. What kind of what kind of fish you be catching? White bass. Uh, Ooh, bass. Yeah, white bass. You get regular big mouth bass. You get catfish. Then again, after that, around after this month, June, we will be go uh, golf fish gonna start running. Ooh, the big golf I don't fish. like golf fish though. Ooh, I love it. Do you fry it or boil? Oh yeah, I'm fried. I I don't. Fried. I think we used to have golf fish balls. Yeah, golf fish balls. You I, I fry them and I also put them on the uh, on the pit. I don't think I ever had them fried before. Oh, you love them. Like, yeah. Are you from Louisiana? Yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah. I know some people down there. We used to uh, catch alligators. Oh, yeah. Read them too. Read them to tell. They're good, right? Yeah, well, they would catch, they would hunt. They had the permit to hunt the alligators, and they would catch the alligators. They would crawfish, and they would catch the fish and everything. So I kind of grew up eating it. <laughs> well, you have a good day. Yes, ma'am. Have a nice day. Yeah, go check it out. I, I might go walk back there now. Yeah, you go back there, look. On this end, when you go back there, it's like a beach. It's a sandy beach. Oh, well, I need to go back there. Yeah, I'm back there for like for, 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 for but years. I don't want to go if it's about to get dark. No, you get you, you get for you. I might come back tomorrow. Yeah, okay, all right. You're last, man. You too. whole interior needs to be cleaned out really well so he told me to go walk back there so I might go walk back there and cuz I didn't know they had a lake or whatever a lake or a river or or whatever back there so let me see if this key works 
out. It's a long yeah, video. Yeah, Sorry. I'm going to walk this way and I'm going to run into a sandy looking beach. And it's almost uh, 4.30. It's a little chilly, uh, but we gonna see y'all. I don't know how long this gonna take. Let me ask Siri what the temperature is. Hey Siri, mm -hmm. what's the temperature? It's 52 degrees outside. 52 degrees. It's not too cold, but my nose. They got a lot of wood that needs to be. Uh, ooh. A lot of wood that needs to be burned. It would be nice if this was a camping. Look at the squirrel. If this was a camping ground. That would be nice. But, uh-oh. Do I hear water? I think I hear water, y'all. He said fish wasn't biting for him, but picnic loop, cypress, boardwalk trail. I'm trying to think where, uh-oh. It's two ways to go. Sir, which way do you get to the water? Let's see. Yeah, I think that goes back the other way. Mm -mm. I should have brought my gun. <laughs> I should have brought my gun. Anyway, I hope we find the water soon, y'all. I don't know how much storage I have left on my phone so I'll let y'all know when I get some kind of boardwalk did that man lie to me this don't look like no sandy beach <laughs> he said a sandy beach y'all this don't look like no sandy beach. This look like a swamp. Where is the beach? How you get a beach from this? I think that man lied to me. Mm -mm. Y'all. Oh, do you go this way? How am I gonna find my way up out of here? It look like it might be some lions and tigers and bears. I have no idea what's going on right now. But I feel like I need to get my butt back to my van. If I know how to make my way back to my van. Are you talking about it's a sandy beach? Where?
to the beach. This a key, a clean cut case to be in a horror movie. That's what this is. <laughs> uh oh, I'm about to turn my look back around, yeah. Uh-uh. I ain't going. Okay. I think we may be on to something. Oh. Jesus. Uh-uh. How are you gonna get no? No, thank you. I'm not y'all see how steep that is. I'm not going that way. I'm going this way. Back. <laughs> I will venture this way another day. Today the day. Yeah. I'm cold. Mm. It's kind of about to get dark. So, which way do I go? To the right or to the left? I think I go to the right. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure about nothing. Okay, next time, note to self, bring your pistol. <laughs> note to self, bring your pistol. Okay, yeah, I'm about to. Walk back to the van and I'll let y'all know if I make it there safely. I'm looking for. Oh, I thought I just seen Bigfoot. <laughs> One just came running out in front of me.
they, they must have a little house up in there. It's about three or four of them now. I can't tell how many of them. One ran across me, and then another one came and ran to meet him or her. So they have wildlife up in here. We seen some squirrel. We seen some deer. Ain't no telling. What else they got up in here? Ooh. I hope I'm going the right way to get back to my van, y'all, cause all I know is which way do I go? Oh Lord. I think I go this way, but this way looks like it might be, I think that way would lead me closer to my car. But this way I see something that's a little more promising. <laughs> I don't care if I have to walk. Yeah, that way was gonna take me closer to my car. Back where I started from, it's okay. It's okay. So y'all, they have a lot of debris. A lot of rotten vegetation. They need to be letting people camp up in here so they could start a, a bomb fire. But I don't know if fires would be a hazard with all of this debris. Okay, y'all. I'm back to my van. Y'all see the van over there? So, I'm about to go and it's a little chilly and cold tonight. It's gonna get colder tonight. Uh, somebody was telling me cold weather is coming your way, Vanessa. Uh, it's supposed to get cold this weekend down in the 30s. I might eat some noodles and some chicken tonight. And I was going to go to the store and get some other stuff. But I think I'm going to just eat what I have. Chicken and noodles sound good to me. Uh, but who knows? I might go get a cauliflower. I might go get a cauliflower. There is treasure. I need to go wash treasure, y'all. Seriously. Even on the inside of the doors. But can y'all see around the doors where you grab it and stuff? And look at my hands. I think I need to go take a bath. Okay, you guys, I think uh, it's some grocery stores near. Oh, I forgot to put this screwdriver up. It's some grocery stores near where I'm at. So I think. Did I go by? Walmart last night. I don't know if I'm going to go buy Walmart or Kroger's or Aldi's. I really don't know why I don't like Aldi's. Y'all let me know in the comments. I'm about to turn on some heat, y'all. I'm cold. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all like Aldi's. I don't know why I don't like Aldi's, but I think I want some cauliflower tonight. So I I think I'm going to go get me some cloud flour. We got our doors fixed today. Uh oh, did I go the wrong way? Yep. We got our doors fixed today. So the other thing I need to work on is my. The other thing I need to work on is my soap. And it's supposed to 
supposed to get colder the next few days, but next week it's supposed to be warm and beautiful. So I'm gonna see. Thank you. 